Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shivers A Bike Podcast episode. This is 156, right? Yep. Yeah, 156, man. Uh, before we get to our guests, man, we got a motherfucking sponsor, man. Y'all see it, man. Zawadi Vodka, man. Uh, ultra smooth, gluten free, six time distilled, man. Sugar cane. You feel me? Everything that you know, saying you need in your liquor. Um, the name is Swahili for gift. So this is my gift to y'all. You know what I'm saying? The good vodka, man. You can uh, you see it's a black bottle. You could take it with you if you want to be formal, go to a little black tie event, you know what I'm saying, you got it on deck. You know what I'm saying, if you want to impress your lady, you know what I'm saying, bring a black ball, she gonna think you're doing it real big, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying, get with the guys. Um, if you want to get you a bottle, go on their website, it's uh, ZavadiVodka.com, that's uh, Z-A-W-A-D-I-V-O-D-K-A.com. They have their IG and their Facebook link on there, so go ahead, hit them up, you know what I'm saying, ASAP, get you a bottle, feel good. Make you look good, you feel me? And tell me that you got them from your boy Shy, man. Shy versus everybody podcast. But uh, man, we got uh, uh um a return guest, man. It's been a minute, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a minute. Uh, shit, we gonna start. He, I mean, you an actor, bro. You was acting this shit. Get your act on. Hey, or whatever. acting still, still in my acting bag. Hell yeah, podcast host. We gonna talk about that, man. What happened to the podcast? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, business man, you see, he got the merch and shit, man. You know how to make some money for show. Sure. Motherfucker rapper. And it, uh, shit, the mayor motherfucking Holland Park, dog. You know what I'm saying? Got hey. goddamn uh, uh, stacks, man. Splash Bro stacks in the building, man. What's good, man? What's good with you, dog? Happy to be back, man. Hey, man, this the uh, this the king of HP right here, dog. Hey. <laughs> hey. No <laughs> niggas getting their feelings. They hear no, shit I like that. No, I already know. I already know. Hey, he was number one on the list. The list that stirred up a lot of shit, dog. Man, a whole niggas lot was mad. Shit. A whole lot of shit. How bro. you feel about that shit, dog? Like the list, if it was real, if it was not, but you know, what I'm saying had you number one, bro. The, a part about it being real I hate when niggas was like Bro the shit ain't even real Cause like bro Anybody that make a list Is based off their opinion So yeah. like what, what, what would It have to be What would it have to do To be qualified as real You know what I'm saying For like, sure. If it was I had to be a known celebrity That made the list Would that make it real Like, <laughs> yeah. So I ain't understand When niggas was saying that As far as the uh, I ain't really had no problem with it bro It was hard for me to Really fuck with the shit and be happy about it because so many niggas was in their feelings. But yeah. <laughs> at the same time, and I'm pretty sure all them niggas know, like, bro, if you pay, niggas ain't working for real. Yeah. Like, for you sure. know what I'm saying? Like, for niggas sure. ain't working for real. I, every nigga that I knew had had an opinion about that bitch, nobody really said <laughs> nothing to me. <laughs> like, you feel me? I think niggas had a problem with their position, but nobody, exactly. everybody know exactly what I do. So, really, ain't nobody want to come at me saying nothing crazy, bro. No, and then, for sure. I rap, so shit. Yeah, I was going to go to the studio. Yeah, we, go to, yeah, prove, we can prove like, that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's been two years, man. We got to celebrate, man. We go ahead and take a shot mm-hmm. of the Zawadi Vodka, man. You know what I'm saying? My gift to the people and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how it is and shit. Boy. That mother will come out strong. <laughs> <laughs> Smell that mother, dog. You straight with that? Yeah, I'm good. I'm shit, good. man. It's been, uh, shit, last time you was a motherfucker. Yeah, April 20th. Just dropped the first one. Yep. I just dropped the uh, first April 20th, season. man. April, April 20th, man. So, uh, man, I just, uh, shit, man. Motherfucker, uh, take a shot, man, for, uh, yeah, strong, boy. I ain't gonna kill this shot. I'm just about to. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man, to the motherfucker. Cheers. New year, man. New shit, man. Oh shit, you was a gangster though. You finished that shit. Hey man, ain't bad. It ain't bad. Smooth. That shit smooth as hell. Damn, Zawadi, man. I, like, I fuck with that shit. That shit way smoother than I thought it was. Gonna <laughs> oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on. That shit yeah, that shit straight. Damn, yeah, man. Hey man, shit, I, I'm gonna fuck with this shit. Damn, hey man. Hey, for real, fuck with this shit, y'all. Get y'all a bottle, though. For real, for real. The website at the bottom of the screen. But no, speaking of everything with the list and shit, the niggas mad. Like today is. HP day, man. Oh, seven Four day. seven, man. You got the motherfucking concert later on tonight, celebrating the city, man. How is that? Like trying to make sure y'all grow as a, as a collective, dog. You know what I'm saying? Bring the city up. Um, that's all I be trying to do for real, man. That's why I be dropping projects. I try to put uh just as many niggas I know working on them as possible and shit. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my nigga Rio. He the one putting together the four seven. The four seven day event. The first one was last year. Yeah. It went crazy. Everybody came out, supported. This one should be bigger than that. For sure. He's gonna tra- keep trying to go up every year, man. Yeah, yeah. Like- and when you say like being number one, dog, I look at it like 
I, I could vouch for you though as far as the music, but you do more than music, man. You got like a whole the whole way you advertise yourself. If it's merch, if it's the way you putting shit out, like I really fuck with that shit. So a lot of niggas who look at a list and be talking shit about lists, it's more than just rapping or what you do. It's how you do it. It's how you getting the people to go ahead and you know what I'm saying, listen to music and what are you doing to go ahead and exactly, you know push that shit bro. out. And the music at the same time, bro, it's like it ain't hard to decipher some shit when niggas be like, oh, this person better. Like, bro, if you put some music on for a stranger that don't know neither artist and he don't got, like, you know what I'm saying, no yeah. bias and play it for him, yeah. he going to tell you which music is better. Like, you for feel sure. me? So I ain't never got no problem with being a nigga like, bro, come play my shit. Yeah. Play your shit. Like, you feel me? Yeah, 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 Let's see how that shit sound together. Like, yeah. I already know what I do, but. Yeah. No, I had, uh, speaking of, like, playing shit, I had, like, a friendly competition I had wanted to see, though, for a while. When niggas were doing the versus battles heavy. At the time, I had wanted to see Splash Bros versus motherfucker uh, Trice and uh and the uh, Bad Boys. Yeah, Bad Boys versus bad the boys. Splash Bros, dog. Bad Boys. I'm I thought hip. that would be dope. Like it could be like a concert style and shit like that, dog. Bad Boys. I'm hip, bro. I'm um, I'm shout. Matter of fact, shout out to my nigga Fees and shout out to uh, Trice. Niggas know, bro. I'm always down with the. It's music, bro. Yeah, so I'm for down. Sure. Anything that's gonna showcase the music, niggas know. Yeah, I'm down. I don't got no problem doing it, bro. Yeah, if y'all like, do that shit, let me host it, dog. I got you. You feel me? <laughs> that shit be I got dope you. as hell, I dog. I got you. But yeah, shout out to them niggas, bro. Shout out to everybody in the hood. There's a lot of niggas in my hood working too. The one thing I would say about the list though is like shit when it came out because people fell felt away. It's mm -hmm. like niggas that put a battery in some niggas back. Like, yeah, you feel no me? Hard, some yeah. niggas. Who I think should have been like in a different order just because I know what they be doing behind the scenes and shit. But again, that's like whoever opinion that made the list, I ain't got no control over that. No, for sure. And when it comes like off that list to niggas who like hustle, shit, man, you and what and Rio. Rio be hustling his ass off too, though. Like Rio. He, he be dibbling and dabbing uh, a lot of shit, dog. Rio be doing a lot of shit. That's some Rio be on some real uh some I, I just told Rio I endorsed Rio for mayor. Yeah. Rio, be <laughs> Rio be on some he shit. He that bitch man. with the bas uh, fist in the basketball courts and shit. Like, yeah, he be on some shit. Like he really be helping the community. So no, shout out to dope. Rio, man. That's dope. Now with uh, the last thing I'm gonna ask as far as the list, are you saying like do it be a little bit as a city? I know y'all trying to come up and y'all get hate. You know what I'm saying from HP. Mm -hmm. But do you be feeling like it be like is it a lot of hate within each other? Yeah, bro. It's a lot of. I don't know. I think niggas just be on. It's like a lot of niggas, bro. Niggas just want the spot on. Niggas want to be the man instead mm -hmm. of working and just letting your work prove that. Mm -hmm. My main thing with the uh, listen, just comparing niggas, period, yeah. is like, it's only one me, bro. It don't yeah. matter what you do. You ain't going to be me. Like, yeah. we can listen to the same beat, but what I write <laughs> and what you write going to be totally different. That's <laughs> no, what make sure. me me and make you you. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It be niggas be killing me like, bro, if I was you, I'd do this. But, like, you probably would, but you ain't me, nigga. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> like, for sure. you for feel sure. me? I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Yeah, you yeah. going to do what you would do. No. Now, last time you was on this show, we was just talking about, uh, like, Holland Park. And it's been two years. Do you feel like y'all getting some attention um, as of late? Hell yeah, bro. Cause like we did the, so I did the kid L shit. I was in here, just me fucking with the um with the film shit, getting into acting, bro. You'll be surprised when you go places. It went from niggas not even knowing niggas in Highland Park rap like that. Yeah, and then yeah. niggas would be like, oh shit, I heard your tape. Where I go yeah. somewhere and niggas say they heard your shit. Yeah. So that's dope. Yeah. It fucked me up, nigga. My daughter uh had them streaming cards. My daughter took some to school last year, so she liked the kids. She had the kids in her class listening to this shit. I'm like, that's crazy as hell. She, yeah. she don't even like rap music. She fuck with my shit. For sure. God like, you feel me? But yeah. She don't even fuck with rap music for real, so the fact that she took some of the streaming cards to school. I'm yeah. like, yeah, some of my friends listening to your music, daddy. Like, they like it. Yeah. Like, now, how old your little girl? My uh, my oldest, 12. Yeah. Just turned 12. So do you make it so... Do you want it to be like, all right, I don't want you even following these these, these rap niggas. Like, this shit terrible. Like That's how I, that's how I really feel. You <laughs> feel? But it's cool, though. She like pop music. Yeah, like, no, ain't no wrong with it. She into like the little white boy bands and shit like that. Like, yeah. Justin Bieber, her favorite artist, like, all the time. So, like, I'm cool with that. Because, you know, some kids, like, some kids her age, they favorite artist is niggas from his Hell yeah, like, yeah. you feel me? Like, Hell yeah, street ass niggas, though. Yeah, like, you feel me? Like, my favorite artist is Peasy and Vezzo. Like, damn, you 11 years no, old. No, for like, sure. That's no, cool, every you 11. <laughs> No, every fucking like, you can't even relate every to every that shit, about. Yeah. Man, no, that's true. That's true as hell, though. I'm trying to raise my kids. Like, it's cool if you follow it, but like with me, when I was growing up, bro, I didn't know about rap for real until I got like 14. Like, I was listening mm -hmm. to like little childish bullshit. Then when I got older, I started listening to like the real shit. You know what I'm saying? What's the name? Had me in the chokehold, nigga. BT. 
Oh yeah, like, hell yeah. I mean, the Choco, my some of my favorite artists when I was a kid. I still remember DMX. Yeah, all that Rough Rider shit. Like I loved all that Rough Rider shit. Cash Money came out. Man, nigga. just all that. They talk about Choco, Cash Money, nigga. Yeah, Cash Money was had niggas going crazy. They were fucking shit up, boy. They, had niggas on chains and shit. All that, bro. Yeah. To find out years later that the shit was fake as hell. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen Turk on there? Hell on yeah. Drink champs. Like, Talking the Geneva's and shit, though. Bro, fuck, ruined my childhood with that shit. Dog, them niggas said all oh, that shit was fake. Ruined my whole childhood. Like what? Like Man. you feel me? Niggas grew up. Like yeah, I'm about to go get the watch. I'm about to get me a chain, nigga. Lil Wayne had one. Like, my cousin used to get he used to get his old iced out watch from off middle of the mall. You know what I'm saying? Give him a big ass motherfucking but not, that bitch. But now that you look at it, you can't even say nothing about none of the niggas that did that. Yeah. Now, come to find out, they shit was like that, like some cheap ass <laughs> shit. Like you know what I'm saying? So you can't even knock the niggas. We was watching the videos on to be like some niggas. Who's wearing all fake shit? Shit yeah. crazy. Hell yeah, man. Hey, shit. Sometimes you gotta go ahead, fake it till fake you, it make, it, you make it. Fake it till you make it. Hell yeah. Fake it till you fucking make it. I think that nigga it. Snoop said that. He said all his jewelry back in the day, like all that shit was fake as hell. Yeah. Hell yeah. But see, a lot of, wasn't they said that shit too? Ocho. Ocho Cinco was saying like, nigga, my shit was fake as fuck. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I ain't got time to be doing that shit, bro. Which understandable for back then. I wouldn't do the shit, but I get where they coming from. <laughs> yeah. But right now, you couldn't do that shit because they talking about pre-social media era. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Now with social media, you can't even do that shit. Somebody run up on you with the Tester on your yep, shit, yep, yep, and that yep, shit yep, fake yep. as hell. Your career is over. Over, nigga. It's a wrap, right. nigga. It catch you before even start. But it catch you buying some fake shit, bro. It's a wrap, dog. For real, for real. Now, dog. It's funny. We was you. You talking about cash money and stuff. I was gonna talk about this later on. But you a part of a duo. And you and hustle and shit, man. Mm -hmm. Splash Bros. Give me your top duo group and like your underrated group, dog. That you fuck Ooh, with two man team question. and shit, dog. Like two diggers. Cause my underrated group is what's name? The Young Gunners, dog. Like motherfucking Chris and Eve. I was just watching um you know Chris on Vlad the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you probably got to go Outcast, bro. For sure. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. Ain't no other. Ain't no other two man for real. Like yeah, you got to go Outcast. Um, I'm gonna throw a couple honorable mentions in there. So I'm gonna give it to Outcast, but you still got UGK. Yeah, for sure. For you sure. got Mob Deep. Mob Deep was hard as fuck. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, rest in peace, Prodigy. Yeah. She and rest in peace, Pimp C. Yep. Um. So yeah, I would go with them. I'm trying to think. It's Young Guns, the most slept on duo. Right, they, they, we talking about like an actual duo, or we talking about niggas who put in like two niggas that put a project together too. Shit, I don't two know. solo niggas. But like you know how Jada and Fab yeah, did some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you say that Ash, actual. Well, no, we can just kick with actual groups. Actual groups, bro. You probably right. Like Young Guns, them yeah. niggas is slept on, bro. Yeah, yeah, and then bro. they shit was cold as fuck. Yeah, and Chris was hard though, like. Chris Cold as fuck. Hell like. yeah. I still to this day, they deny it. But I still to this day think Hove, you know, I ain't gonna say he stole his style, but he brought he, he mimicked it a little bit for sure, dog. Yeah, they say Hove do a lot of shit. They say Hove was coming that bitch and listen to dick and shit like, oh, that song, like let me get that. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. No, for sure. So like do you look at it like as as the group man? Like what do y'all do? Like who do you, are y'all inspired by people or like y'all just cause you I know you said that you the one kinda like got hustled and start making making mm -hmm. this shit. Like, would you like to, you a solo art at, and you, you know what I'm saying, got the group. You know what I'm saying? Would you like it to see, like, y'all get the deal together and shit? So, you know what I'm saying? That's your, that's your dog. That's your family. Man, like. Hustle, my, that's my family. That's my cousin. But that nigga really like my brother for real. So, like I said, I got him in this shit. So, regardless of what I do on the solo end, we going to forever be able to drop music together. For sure. But Hell regardless yeah. of what I do on the solo sh shit, he always got a spot. Like, yeah. You feel me? So whatever happened, of course I love for us to get a deal together. Yeah. You feel me? Duh. And then even shit, even if I got a deal on the flow, I'm gonna try to work bro in there some type <laughs> yeah, of way. You yeah, feel yeah. me? But the hustle hard. That that project he put out though, his little his dolo mm -hmm. joint. That shit was hard, bro. Like, but with y'all too, I, the the thing I like about y'all music, bro, is that y'all don't like try to sound like nobody. And y'all be telling like some real ass stories. Like you could tell that you really be writing and really be getting in there, like. Let me go ahead and, and, and really have some type of concept to the song. I appreciate that shit, bro. Because the craziest thing now is like, niggas act like they do, but niggas don't give a fuck about if you live that shit or not. So yeah. like, I be still sticking true to that shit. Like, you ain't gonna hear me rapping about a Lamborghini tie. I got one of them bitches. For sure. Know? Hell yeah. No, for so, sure, for sure. I be though. trying to stay true to that shit, but niggas be acting like they, niggas really don't be giving a fuck. Like, yeah. Niggas be listening to niggas that you know line all the time. Like, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Like, damn. But a nigga tell you quick as hell, like, nah, bro, I don't fuck. If it's a local nigga, they'll tell you, I don't fuck with that nigga because he, but you listen to niggas every day that line they raps, bro. For sure. Like, <laughs> hell yeah. Future said he don't even do the drugs no more, but we still listening still, to this nigga talking exactly. about popping perks and drinking yeah. lean every day. No, for like, sure. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. But yeah, I, that's what I like about y'all shit. I remember going to, that, uh, to y'all listening uh, session. And when you had your, uh, I think that was um, that was MVP season, or that was part two. 
that might have been either part two or that was vibes the vibes those vibes vibes and yeah. it's like though every song like i'm not even saying that shit like that shit was hitting like every song bro that's and that's what i try to do too bro niggas don't pay attention to the uh to catalog like mm -hmm. you feel me because it don't matter if a nigga catch on to my shit today if a nigga catch on to my shit next year but if that shit good yeah. when a nigga catch on it, yeah. it make you ever been to um discover the artist that probably been out but you slept on that nigga for so sure. when you found out they was cold bro. nigga you felt bad and you on their shit like damn you know, what, you know who that was for me slept on it was nigga. larry june larry june hard as fuck dog when i first heard i'm like dog how long has nigga been out i'm larry, going on, larry on june fucking, hard uh as fuck. on on streaming uh shit this nigga been dropping since 2015. Nigga, I just got hip to him like what? I want to say like maybe a year or two ago, bro. I went to the Red Bull mashup with him and um, him and Babyface Ray. Yeah, yeah. That shit was hard as fuck, bro. Larry June cold. Who was the nigga bro. that you was sleeping up on? You went back and like, dog, this nigga had a lot of fucking cold ass albums he put out. Man, it's a few niggas. That's how I know the feeling. Cause it's, <laughs> a, it's a lot of niggas I be doing that shit too. That nigga, um, you hip to Russ? Russ, yeah, 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 yeah. Russ, I did that with Russ. Yeah, like, I found out, I heard some shit from him that was cold as hell. I went back, like, oh, bro, he been doing this shit. He ain't he doing it independent. Uh, yep, independent bad for sure. With Russell, oh, I got yeah. him to nip when he dropped Crenshaw. But I, I thought too. that was his first shit, you feel me? me so too. when I went back, I'm like, damn, rest in peace to Nip. He like one of my biggest influences in this shit. But for sure, hell Nipsey yeah. Nipsey Hussle was one of them people like, damn. Yeah, like, yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah. Nipsey no. Hussle, ain't, I give you another one, Wiz Khalifa. I ain't okay. get hip to Wiz Khalifa to, um, I, it was a project, not Cushion Orange Juice, it was something he dropped right before that. And then okay. Cushion Orange Juice took like, him out of here. Oh, uh, it was like the shit with the plane in the background. Yeah, I think like Flight School. Flight School, yep, like that. yep, yep, yep. I got yep. to him off of that. That's when he was doing the uh, tap my whole, ink my whole body. Yeah, ink my whole body, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, Wiz Khalifa was one of them niggas yeah. and shit. You Shout out to me? my little bro. He want, my bro put me up on, uh, my little bro put me up on a lot of niggas. Like, like uh, Wiz, Meek Mill, when he was before he even signed with uh, Rick Ross and shit. Mm -hmm. And nigga put me uh, up on Drake, bro. He put me up on Drake. He had a song with Trey Songs. At the time, I think Trey Songs was going to sign this nigga, dog. So, like, nigga, the nigga off that show you be watching, nigga, that nigga rap. I'm like, what? He rap, nigga. I'm like, this yeah. little nigga, nigga hard. That nigga goat shit. Now, I had. Goat it, shit. All right, you said goat. I had a conversation with the last guest, bro. He put Drake in his top five already. Got to, bro. But right now. I'm going like, to tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Just come <laughs> off a pure writing standpoint. Niggas said the uh going back to that Quentin Miller shit, the ghostwriter shit. Yeah. If you look up Drake and look how you could Google how many people he done wrote for. He done wrote shit for Beyonce, he done wrote sure. shit for other artists. He gave Lil Wayne I'm single. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? You can hear the cadence. If you listen to I'm single by Lil Wayne, you yeah. can hear it. If you go type that shit in your Spotify right now, it's gonna say Drake and Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake yeah. not on that song. <laughs> Damn. But he wrote that bitch, so he get the credit. So at the same time, if you go by the numbers yeah. and pure rapping ability, bro, yeah. like you got to give it to that nigga. It's the yeah. same reason why, like, I think girl, you probably like me. Lil Wayne was that nigga. Lil Wayne, like, my nigga, yeah. He Lil Wayne three. was that nigga. He top three. Why won't we get him number one? Who Wayne? Yeah. Now I give him number one of my generation. Exactly, but, but why I, we won't get him number one? He said harder shit than a lot than most <laughs> niggas. No, yeah. I'm gonna break down for you why we won't give him number one though. It's simple as hell. What's up? Where's the content? Yeah. Tell me something that he rap about. He yeah. don't. He got all punchlines, and the punchlines hard as fuck. So pure rapping ability. Lil Wayne, the probably the goat, the greatest to ever do it. You know, it's two niggas like that, bro. Like they could rap, but they never give you their life, they, they story, and that's Wayne and Fab. Yeah, Fab same way. Fab like, and my both of them niggas in my top ten. Yeah, both cause like niggas. with Wayne, he he made dope music, but he never gave you like a a, a like we said a concept. With mm -hmm. That's why album. when niggas talk verses now, like even him and Hove shit, like yeah. Hove shit gonna hit different, cause he was talking about shit. He was talking some shit, yeah. Like yeah. you feel me, Lil Wayne shit was like what a time to be it's alive. Been, like yeah. you was outside, yeah, you, you was, was fully, yeah. you feel me, you was going to the club, for you sure. was in high school, whatever. Bro. Then Lil Wayne was that nigga. So Bro. for us, he is the number one nigga. The Car Three will forever be embedded in my memory because when the car three came out i was on straight whole shit bro like like i was i was fooling then, it. you gotta drink drake rapping like that what content yeah that, damn so i mean i don't want to put content. drake over way but and, like when you say like that, wayne my og but bro you gotta look at shit like this how how we just look at it being from the hood niggas be like drake light skin drake saw <laughs> all that shit we still fuck with Lil Wayne to call Lil Wayne the goat. We done seen this nigga kiss a nigga. He done wore leggings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. 
He not done the most suspect shit. Yeah, but like a lot of shit. hood niggas that be popular niggas don't ever want to talk about it, do the most suspect shit. Duh, that's and true. we be rocking with him and vouching for them niggas. Like, Damn, you feel duh. Me? Damn, that shit true, dog. Meanwhile, this nigga fucking all all the, all we know is him but all Drake is he fuck bitches. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He a lot He of ain't never came out kissing no nigga. Like yeah. you feel me? He's saying he ain't never kissed no nigga. <laughs> niggas wearing leggings, we still fucking with nigga yeah, music. Like yeah, that nigga skateboard. And I don't take shit away from Lil Wayne, but no, it's don't. Like, we judging niggas like yeah, niggas judging. will never say that about Hov. No. Nah, it's like the legacy thing. Like niggas all. will never play with Hov like yeah, that. Yeah, like, damn. You say it like that though. Right, but so personally, like because of course everybody top five gonna be different, though. If you had to make a personal top five, who'll be your personal? And I know that shit change up a lot for people. Man. I'm gonna do off of just me. Mm. <laughs> All right, all right, I get a disclaimer before I do this shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer. I already I put what's the name for me, Biggie, Pac, Hove, and Nas on some whole other shit. Yeah, so a, I don't even yeah, include them. Yeah, fuck. that's a whole like you feel me? Them niggas yeah, somewhere sure. else. That's gonna be everybody top so, five. So outside of them niggas, I'm gonna say, and this ain't gonna be in no order. I'm gonna say Drake, Wayne, Old Kanye. Yeah, for sure. Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. Jeezy. Jeezy. Hell yeah. Jeezy got some shit, dog. Jeezy got some shit. Jeezy. Wasn't in my in my personal top five, if you if you wanna throw them out the Jeezy, way. I'm at Jeezy, I I could flip flop between Jeezy and Fab for me. Like mm -hmm. as far as that shaped me, them the niggas that shaped me as an artist and shit. Do so, you know who my nigga was, dog? Was the game. The game hurt. The as game fuck, bro. got some classic. He got some classic albums. albums. Like he got a nice body of work, bro. But That's I a think... nigga, another another nigga like slept on that niggas really don't. Yeah. Certain niggas that niggas don't yeah. want to see in verses because sure. it's gonna make no. niggas be like, damn. He gonna give niggas a long day, bro. Like damn. That like nigga got... that's why I hate it when Ross had battled fucking fu uh not future two chains. That did not go right, bro. Cause Ross catalog is too long, bro. When he was fucking two chains, bro. He and... challenged Ti. Yeah, now that would be and... better. Like but I think he was like trying to put that that uh, King of the South title yeah, up and shit. Yeah, he, Ross would have probably took that. Ross would be Ti. Yeah, that's Ross what I'm saying. Ross would be Ti, bro. He probably would have took that bitch, bro. Ross would have long days. Ti music kind of like Wayne. Some of his shit for the time, bro. We talking about as an age. Yeah, so like now when you play like that us, shit back, you play swagger. You play like swagger us. Look like us now, and they gonna ring off the same way it did back yeah, then. And yeah. that he had hove on that yeah. bitch Kanye and Wayne. Like <laughs> that shit don't even hit the same today. Yeah, dog. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Ross giving it. Ross, but one of them Ross Maybach music's nigga kind of timeless. Like he yeah. played that bitch. Hell yeah. Like, but Jeezy gonna get Ross a run for his money though. And Jeezy getting a lot of niggas yeah. out of here, bro. Getting a, for, off of one album he, too. And Jeezy was always in my top ten. He not, I pushed him to my top five because I was thinking about him when he had dropped that uh Snowfall shit with DJ Drama, bro. Yeah. Jeezy the only nigga that rap like that. Yeah, duh. Yeah. Can't no nigga really take his style when he even when he record he recorded shit. Every other line, and mm -hmm. then come back and fill in the middle with every other line. For like, sure, he do his shit so unorthodox, but yeah. it's only one Jeezy. Yeah. How everybody else got like a thousand niggas that tried to beat him. It's yeah. like it's one Jeezy, and only that nigga could do that. And he got classic. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Peachy. He won't put me up on how uh Jeezy be doing that shit. He, cause I'm like, bro, when you rap, your songs don't sound like you run out of breath. And he told me how he do that shit. I'm like, oh, uh -huh. all right. He punched your head to do it every yeah. other line. Like, yeah. you right. so he ain't saying shit. Then come back on his ad, bam, double up, bam, and put bam. that in and fill it in. Yeah, fill all this shit in. I'd be like, damn, I'm running out of breath on some shit, like, bro. Like, that's back in May. I, I had rap, man, I had rap dreams. I wish I could have made as a rapper, dog. I'll be envious of y'all niggas, man. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one just to, just to be done with this shit, dog. Cause I said, I always put out music, but it was always some bullshit, like on that Piff or SoundCloud. I want to actually put out. Damn, I got some shit on that Piff. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, how trash was it? That shit. That shit had to be throwback. We ain't even. It's called. We ain't even signed. It's me and Hustle. It's like the first shit we did at mixtape. Yeah, I, I, I far back. Sad, bro. That shit like probably like twenty fourteen. 15. Yeah. Now tell me this. I know when you first dropped that shit, you thought you was getting signed immediately. You know it. <laughs> It's called we ain't even signed. Like you feel me? Like, you know, no niggas did. That's how niggas be though. When you hop in some shit, like oh hell, yeah, like, nigga, that shit gonna take off. You got to really get out of here and touch people. Like you feel me and see For other sure. people. Like yeah. you pay because every nigga feel like that. But I done been to helly shows and the same niggas yeah. get booed at that bitch. Like, hell yeah, dance. hell yeah, dog. For sure. For sure. Who was now? We always talk about niggas. Like when I was growing up, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know. I was late to the. Detroit scene of music So it's like Niggas I'm just starting to listen to Like bro The first time I listened to A whole PG A, a PZ album Was two years ago 
Like, mm. like for real, like, I was really, like, and I think it's because I was so far into, like, I want to rap that I'm like, fuck, I can't listen to these niggas, bro, because I want to do it. The only nigga I kind of, like, was kind of, like, listening to and was a fan of until I got into this podcast shit was uh, Payroll. Yeah, That's I thought Payroll had So who was the nigga from HP that you was looking up to as far as music? Because, of course, we know Detroit niggas, but who was those HP niggas you was looking up to when you was first, you know, coming up and shit as far as rapping? It wasn't one, bro. It wasn't? That's sad to say. That's how I'm... Uh, it's two niggas that I can tell you that I knew about. Mm -hmm. We got X Factor. He was battle rapping, so I knew about him for from sure. When he was battle rapping. Yeah. We got Super MC. Uh, he was signing proof. Shout out to Soup. Yeah. So I knew about Soup mm -hmm. and uh, Skrill. Okay. And Skrill, but this was like this was before I was rapping. It's like yeah. when I first got in high school. Yeah, like, yeah, you feel yeah. me? On the, so when I started rapping, it's like them niggas wasn't even. You feel me? Wasn't doing it. Wasn't doing. Wasn't doing shit. Mm -hmm. Or at least I just wasn't seeing it. Like mm -hmm. you feel me? So when I started rapping, it was just. I always look at the niggas who I be putting on my list. So like, For nigga, sure. when Hove drop, I'm yeah. studying that Hove album. Yeah, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Drake drop, Kendrick drop, yeah. Cole. I'm studying them albums. Right. Oh, Cole. He Nigga, another nigga on my list. Oh, yeah, for I sure. Got as a matter of fact, he might have took my five. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. So, uh, all right, give me a... We, me and this nigga argue about this a lot, dog. What's Hove's best album, in your, in your opinion? Hove. I, I, I said The Blueprint. He said Reasonable Doubt because he's an old nigga. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say is between bro. My top three Hove albums is Blueprint, Reasonable Doubt, and American Gangster. No, nigga, sleep on American Gangster. American Gangster is like one of his most slept on <laughs> shit. Nick. I just found out Jermaine Dupri produced on that bitch. Yeah, for sure. Jermaine Dupri got no a bag idea, that niggas don't even know about, bro. Oh, I think I'm giving it to him over Diddy for the uh, when they do the verses. Yeah. Just because it's so much shit that niggas don't know yeah. that he done touched and had his hand. The man. only thing, like everybody say, and he said it himself, he gonna take those L's. Is a uh, certain Biggie songs. Yeah, yeah, you know it for sure. Like, nigga just, play Juicy, it ain't gonna really be no. Yeah. It's gonna be about two or three of them bitches, he for sure. Yeah, for but sure. But he can do the same shit, bro. He got yeah. that whole Usher Confessions. This Dog, that alone was crushing Mariah niggas. Mariah Catalog. Catalog. Nigga, Mariah. Yeah, fuck what nobody say. He play, <laughs> he play a couple of them little Bow Wow songs. <laughs> Hell yeah. Depending nigga, on what Diddy play, that bitch will wanna ring off. if like, he come out. Some if Jagged he, Edge versus 112, like you bro, got that bad. if he smart, I'm starting it off with Criss Cross Jump, nigga. Like that was like say what you want, dog. That's a classic motherfucking like. The Brad got classics. Mm hmm He the got Brad. the Mariah Carey shit. Yeah. Like, he done did shit for Hove. You got money ain't a thing. Oh, that the money ain't a thing, nigga. That like it ain't too many songs that's gonna that's gonna beat money ain't a thing, bro. Like nigga, that's that's a that's a battle that gotta like it gotta be a part one and a part two. Like one in Atlanta, one in New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or you just go to a mutual, you know what I'm saying? They said it ain't going to be the next year, bro. So, you know, they trying to, yeah, they about to capitalize. No, for shit. sure. For sure, dog. So, with you, bro, like we said, man, it's been two years since you've been home, dog. And it's the top of 2023. How shit been, like, last year and this year as far as, like, music and what you got going on and shit, dog? Shit, the music shit been straight. You know, I got out here. Mm -hmm. Um, I just be working at that shit, bro. Yeah. That's all I be doing, working every day. Like, I can tell you how many... Hours I done put in just to watching interviews and studying on niggas. Yeah. Like, you know, looking up niggas' contracts just so I can know how much <laughs> yeah, niggas get paid and this shit for real. Find out most niggas don't get paid shit. For sure. Hell so, yeah. that's how I, uh, <laughs> that's why I do the, uh, the shit the way I'm doing it now. Yeah. Hell but, yeah. Um, and, uh, repeat. So, repeat. That bitch did better than the first MVP season. Okay. That was the goal, bro. Yeah, like, that hell was yeah. the goal. So this time, I'm trying to take it overboard, but we giving it directly to the uh, consumers. Cause yeah. talk about that shit. We go. I was gonna talk about it later, but you already, you know, saying mentioned it, whatever. I I did get, you know, saying here project. That shit hard, dog. Oh, good luck, that shit. Man, I don't want to talk that. about it too much because I want to put it out there. Yeah. But that nah, shit, nah, that shit nah, hard, dog. Cool. But I right, just talk about like how how you planning on releasing it, and you know, what I'm saying what's the go. So I got this um, campaign I'm starting. Shout out to Nipsey and shit. I got that shit from him from the um, Proud to Pay campaign. Mm -hmm. So I started my own campaign called um, Make It Make Sense. Yeah. Because if you think about it, like streaming, I think we get like like a third, maybe a fourth mm. of a cent. Yeah, for like, sure. you feel yeah. me? Yeah. Per stream and shit. Like, and that ain't no money in that. Like, you feel me? I think you got to do like a, a million streams, maybe like 10 bands. For sure. Like, for you sure. feel me? Yeah. And that's 10 bands for a nigga like me, but what if a nigga sign? Yeah, exactly. What 10 bands, yeah. it's a million streams, like 10 <laughs> bands, but he signed to a nigga that signed to a nigga. Exactly. He got a manager to get 10%. <laughs> okay, nigga. Like, niggas don't even think about that shit. So, niggas like, then that's shit. 10 bands. Like, that nigga coming out that bitch with 1,500. <laughs> Hell yeah, for off sure. Off for every million and Hell shit. Hell yeah, still struggling. So, it's the, uh, and it don't make sense. So, like, make it make sense. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And since it don't, I'm selling my shit directly to the consumer. So, yeah. 
for the first 90 days when we drop i'm gonna have a website up and coming out in three different packages you want to get the uh the rookie package it's 30 dollars. it come with your choice of a, a t-shirt or a hat and then you get the project my okay. project is gonna come on the cassette tape so it's mvp season three peat aka the red tape okay like yeah. you feel me like when Raekwon had the purple tape it's the yeah, red tape for sure for like sure. you feel me but it got a built in USB cause I know niggas like how the fuck you gonna put that tape <laughs> it got a built in USB so you be able to put that bitch in your car put that bitch in your computer download the songs off of that bitch however you wanna do it and shit for sure. but that's $30 you will not have the all star package you get a hat and a T, and you still gonna get the project. Mm. That's gonna be sixty dollars, and then for a hundred dollars is the MVP season package. Yeah. For the MVP season package, you gonna get the hat, the shirt, and you gonna get the autographed uh basketball card. Okay. So I'm only doing I think fifty of those. Okay. But with them bitches, any show I got for the rest of the year, yeah. you just show up and you give me show me the basketball card, oh, yeah. and I got your way into the show. That's your hard. That's your hard. That's your hard as hell. I like that shit, dog. Hell yeah. So, dog, when you when you uh, so something like that, it sounds expensive on your end yeah, as far yeah. as like putting that shit together, dog. So, do you go by like niggas who hitting you up going on a website, or you just already got that shit ready? Well, like you mean, like how many I'ma get? Like, is the shit already printed up? Are we, everything is smooth and shit, or are you just waiting? Like, I I I hit the website up. I ordered the motherfucking. Oh no! Package. So I I got everything right now. I'm waiting for my uh my cassettes to get finished and shit. Yeah. So now I'm doing it, everything is three piece. So everything in threes, bro. So I'm gonna have yeah. even all, all them different packages. Oh, so it's like a different days, cassette tape. It's a different cassette tape. Like yeah. you feel me? It's a different uh it's a different cover. So I got three album yeah. covers. Yeah, like, yeah, you feel me? Because it's three piece. So it's three different ones. One for every package. No, I like that shit. That shit hard. That yeah. shit hard hell. And I'm just making sure I got everything. You feel me? You gotta do everything right to the T, cause. You yeah. know how these niggas is. Somebody about to steal this shit. Yeah, for sure. But I was on shot. I already told y'all. Yeah, this is the first, first pod I've been on. First yeah. time I ever announced it. So y'all know what it is. On, on and I already day, got everything done. Exactly. On HP day. So. Hell yeah. No, that's hard, bro. Like, so like when you doing that shit, like, like you said, niggas ain't making money off they off their strings for real, mm -hmm. for real. So like before you came up with this shit, you just basically like strategize and thinking of ways that you can come different, but get the proceeds and be able to get everything you know what exactly because you know? at the same time i got to get my money too you feel me yeah. and then in a the fan base niggas don't know like if you got if you got fans or you got people that fuck with you bro you don't got to go platinum to For eat sure. off this shit like, no. you know what i'm saying yeah. you ain't got to go platinum to eat off this shit yeah. like, i done made a crazy amount of money just off of doing the shit the way i was doing it before mm -hmm. i even came up with dropping a site and selling my shit directly to fans i basically sure. get my music away for free for yeah. a fourth of a penny you yeah. Feel? Yeah. yeah no for sure everything you worked on for our studio time all that shit dog all that shit bro now is this gonna really expose niggas like niggas you fuck with heavy as far as like nigga if they if they if they support and buying and shit yeah bro. Cause <laughs> like, at the same and at the same time like i said i'm gonna still i'm gonna um I'm gonna still do a donation. Donation probably gonna start at like five dollars or something. So then you'll just get the cassette. Like say you don't want no merch or some shit. Yeah, you yeah, could yeah. just do a donation and start off at five dollars. Anything sure. after that, you could just put in. You could just get nah, the cassette tape. You man, feel that, me? So that, if a nigga that, don't want to do that, if a nigga don't want to do that, then like yeah, bro, I ain't <laughs> tripping. Like because I got more fans. Like yeah. you feel me? But you will look at a nigga like damn, yeah. you ain't got five dollars. Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna sit here like when, once it's time to drop. I'm definitely gonna promote that shit on my end. But like, what you gonna do as far as like promotion? Like, how you get, how you, how you, uh, you know, what I'm saying, getting out there as far as like websites and like, what you doing? You going in the streets? You know, so I'm going on the streets. I'm about shit. to go on the, uh, I'm about to just go on a little podcast tour, bro. Yeah. Hell I'm going yeah. on a podcast tour. You know, I had to come here first. Though. For sure, man. It's only right, dog. Like, you feel it's me? Only but motherfucking right. I'm gonna go on a little podcast tour. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna set something up too. I want to get certain people who, who want that shit. Like, the first. I guess like that first week, yeah. I'm gonna get them access to the videos early. For sure. Cause I already shot like five videos. So this is what we are gonna do, bro. When that when it's time to drop, when it's time to drop, like the day you drop, that's what I'm gonna pull up on you. We gonna do the process shit. We yeah. go to the studio, talk yep. about that shit, bro. And then you know what I'm saying. And yeah. you can say that we could do it like, shit. You can be in the booth and like just recording like one of the songs and shit. Like you know oh what yeah, bro. Just you go know over yeah. And shit. I'm already should order next shit, bro. And give them a sneak peek or something. I'm still working. Like you feel me? Mm hmm. Hell yeah, though. No, that shit dope as hell, though. though. I like music. Just gotta be worth it too, and I made sure the music is worth it. Like, no, you feel no. me? You ain't gonna be like, damn, this nigga charging for this bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. Like, cause I know it's niggas out here that drop shit like that that be talking like, heavy what? shit, and then you like, listen. Bro. Cause I listen to everybody shit when it drops. So yeah. there's a lot of niggas out here that just be talking and they shit be trash. As fuck. No, I'm with you. I'm like you, bro. Like, come on, my uh, my wife and shit be like, how you be knowing about everybody? Like, bro, if, if I got this shit, that I'm paying ten dollars a month for, 
I'm listening. I'm listening to everything, everything come on bitch. Friday. Even yo. if you on my TL, I don't even know a nigga. A nigga on my TL say like this is project dropping and shit. I might be bro. following a nigga. I'm gonna go listen to this shit. No, you but know a lot of nigga shit be trash as fuck, bro. No, you know, you know, I blame I blame y'all niggas sometimes, dog, for niggas hit me up with their bullshit ass music, dog. Try to come on the show, dog. It be a lot of niggas like you need niggas in your circle in your camp that's gonna tell you the truth, dog. A lot of niggas just be dropping shit just because other niggas are dropping. I'm quite sure there's niggas in HP, niggas in Detroit. Oh, shout out podcast, I'll do one. Oh, Everywhere, that nigga stands bro. rapping, I'll do one. Everywhere, you feel bro. me? And then that be the thing, cause it be like niggas be <laughs> niggas be like that. It could be a nigga that you went to elementary school with, or you feel me, or middle school with. He gonna look at you and be like, man, I went to sixth grade with I that nigga. That, that nigga rap, I could do that shit. Like you feel me? Yeah. And then his only thing gonna be like, bro, you been doing it longer than me. Like, no, bro, you just ain't got it. <laughs> yeah, dog. Like everybody don't got it, bro. Have you ever told? Have you ever? Kept it real with a nigga who brought some music, dog, and told him, like, dog, this shit, like, you need to go back to the drawing board, dog. I just did this shit uh, a couple of days ago, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna even say who it is, <laughs> yeah, my man. You sure. <laughs> <laughs> know who it is. Because he go watch this shit, but you feel me? Was he, was he new to it, or he just like... No, but he... That nigga creative, though, so he yeah, probably already sure. knew. He was like, all right, cool. Yeah, but Basically, you, like, he already know what's gonna be. And you need niggas that's gonna keep it real with you. Like, you feel me? If you ain't got niggas that's gonna keep it real with you, then, like, them niggas do not need to be around you, bro. Yeah, because the niggas, like I said, bro, niggas... I ain't been to shows and seen niggas get booed. Yeah, like, man. It ain't never happened to me, but I done seen <laughs> no. niggas get booed since I've been doing this shit. Like, even like on the you... biggest stages, on the smallest stage, like, yeah. stages. Like, you feel me? Yeah, and That yeah. shit crazy. Now, one thing I know is about you, bro. That's with you. That's with I, I equate hustle, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all, y'all team, y'all individuals, too. But one thing you do, and I, I don't know if he got it from you, or yeah, that's something y'all both do, but y'all made sure the intro... It's hard. Y'all made sure the intro, y'all coming correct. Like, cause the intro, niggas don't understand how important that intro is. It's gonna let me know if I'm gonna listen to the rest of your motherfucking project. Right. So do you go in there thinking like, all right, I, like Master P for example. That's that was the intro on the shit. Mm -hmm. you, oh, Dream Team, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. do you make do you go in there looking like, all right, I gotta make sure the intro is gonna grab the yeah, motherfucking Yeah, that got that gotta set that bitch off, bro, yeah. every time. Yeah. Like, every time. Like, I think when I did repeat, I did repeat intro. Yo, Slash legend, legend yeah, so that hard. two different flows. So yeah. you feel me? So even if you want to, if you like the first one, when I switch that bitch up, the transition so crazy. You like, sure. damn. And th like, you that's how me? I know you study niggas for real. Cause like when I listen to your shit, I think about old fucking no limit or skits or like just like coming up with some shit. Like I think about old music from when niggas was really putting the time and the effort into their project. But that's what I grew up in, bro. Like that's the type of shit that I like. So I'm at the end of the day. I don't give a fuck what nobody doing. Like you feel me? The whole city be on some other shit, not doing what I'm doing. But yeah. I don't give a fuck because I like what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, like you sure. feel me? Just yeah. because some shit cool to everybody else, I always been a nigga. Like that shit could be cool to you. Yeah. You could be my man. That shit could be cool to you. But that yeah. shit ain't cool to me. <laughs> yeah, I sure. ain't doing that shit. I'm gonna do my own thing. Hell like, yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah, dog. Now who keep it real with you? Like who can keep it real with you and you will really take their opinion? Like. All right, nigga. I, I I know you coming from a good a good place with this. Yeah, ain't, bro, no ain't even too many people like that. I ain't gonna lie. Probably the realest person that I do shit like that with is my girl, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. She'll let me know on some shit, yeah. some shit quick. As far as the music <laughs> go, that's why I be saying I'm MVP, bro. Cause I don't really record. I try to not niggas just record shit and yeah. write shit just because yeah. if I don't feel like it's one of the ones, I'm probably not gonna do it. So For like sure. my field goal percentage in the studio <laughs> when I do shit is high as fuck. I'm like ninety percent in that bitch. Like, sure. You feel me? It's a couple of songs I record and I'm like, no, I ain't gonna do shit like yeah. that. But, but you for the most no part, time. yeah, for the most part, nigga, I'm like ninety percent from the Dope. field. And yo, girl, that's heavy. That niggas don't understand how important it is. Niggas don't even be wanting to say that shit, bro. bro if your girl don't, nah, let me tell you. I was upset, bro. I was because my girl was my wife. She was my girl at the time. Listening to that motherfucker first day out so much, I got mad. Like, nigga, hold on, <laughs> like you ain't never played my shit. Hold on, like yeah, yeah. That's she that bitch, is. nigga. Oh, yeah. Six mile, brick mile, like nigga, going ham. And I mean that bitch, like you know, I, I did some music yesterday, right? <laughs> like you know, I just put some shit out, right? Like mm -hmm. my kids, in that bitch, like play my play your song, dad. She never like nigga putting on motherfucking uh, T Grizzly, dog. So like, how important is it? Like you, that's, you, that's your saying. that's. Nigga, the girls are the most important consumers. Cause they gonna be the ones that gonna make that shit look cool. Yeah, so when your I'm... girl banging your shit that that like you said, your girl telling you what's what's hot, what's not, that's important, bro. Yeah, like that's how I always make sure. Yeah. I always make sure I put something on there that the ladies can fuck with. For sure. Like you feel me, you gotta put that on the project. But uh Yeah, she a real one, bro. Like yeah. she let me know. But like I said, I'm be nine times out of ten. I'm probably gonna know anyway. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, yeah. You feel me? Hell she yeah. is still, she ain't gonna hesitate. Yeah, that's what's like, up, dog. Yeah. Hey, 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 fellas, if you rapping, your girl, let's see your music. 
You probably don't want to rap no more, dog. Yeah. But at the same time, bro, it's just some people. I, I'm just in one of them type of relationships. We locked in like that. Yeah. Some people, like your girl, no matter how close somebody is to you, they might just not see your vision. Yeah, no, that's like, you true. You feel me? It could be your girl. It could be your brother and shit. Like, you putting in time, and they eventually come around yeah. when they see that you keep on working at that shit. Dog, that's a fact, though. It's funny you said shit. Cause my wife was just saying, like, like she didn't know how dedicated I was going to be towards this podcast shit. And she mm-hmm. was like, dog, you've been, you been at it for... Three, four th- years, like nonstop, like no, n- no fucking pauses. And though. when you first started, she probably just like, all right, this nigga doing a podcast. Yeah, like, that was it. yeah, yeah, yeah like, exactly. Like he gonna do it. Like, but then when she seen that, she like, hold on, this nigga is super consistent, bro. Like she and she ain't the type of person listening to sh- listening to podcasts. She don't. That just ain't her thing. But she like, dog, like she was like, nigga, you been dedicated to this shit. And, you know what I'm saying? You, I see this shit is important to you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So if you ain't got that right one, dog, you know, shit, man. X. Re- I be re- seeing niggas going out bad every day, with <laughs> bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. For, so I gotta ask you this, bro. And I don't, mm-hmm. we can we can cut this shit out if you want to, nigga, too, dog. Hey, no pressure. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you got a real one. You ever thought about, you know what I'm saying, taking it to the next level, dog? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, for sure. You got know, niggas too be too, you no. know what I'm saying? Gang gang, nigga ain't wanna do that shit. No, for sure. God lock it down, bro. When you got a real one. She know what it is, dog. For sure, hell yeah. And what's some shit you learned about yourself this, this year, dog? Like that you didn't know you was capable of or some shit that maybe you need to work on or fix, dog. That could be with life, that could be with music. What's some shit that you Learned about yourself. What I was just telling you, bro, like everybody can't see your shit. Like, yeah. you gotta know what you're doing. If something that you wanna do, just do that shit. Like, don't worry about if everybody fucking with that shit, who fucking with it or not. Cause as long as you keep doing that shit and not worry with nobody else, worried about what nobody else doing or how they feel about what you're doing, yeah. that shit gonna take off nine times out of ten. Like, Hell yeah. like when they be saying it's like when that thousand hours kick in, like, yeah. Yeah. That shit real Same thing with y'all With this shit yeah. Like you feel me After so long People are like damn yeah. Like you feel me You keep coming With heat And yeah. it's consistent Can't deny it Like yeah Like you yeah. know what I'm saying That's why I say He the MVP of motherfucking I ain't gonna say HP nigga You just the MVP in general nigga MVP Facts. nigga uh, uh, The rap game I'm the MVP of the podcast nigga It's an MVP episode In this bitch dog Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah Now we talk about music bro But what's your What's your day to day life Away from music man What what you, what you enjoy doing bro What's your life like Without music Probably doing shit either in the, cause I'm always cons- consuming music in some type of way, bro. Yeah. Like you feel me? So. Want some more of this shit? You good? Uh, yeah, you can be one more, bro. This shit kind of smooth, I ain't gonna. Smooth as fuck, for real. What's that? What's the card again? All right, oh, uh, uh, Zawadi, dog. Zawadi. Zawadi vodka, man. Zawadi, shout out to y'all, man. Yeah, my man only brought me, you know, what I'm saying one bottle. I make sure I preserve this shit. I ain't gonna drink no more, dog. I been sipping this shit. But yeah, you say, you say, you say, your day to day, like it, shit, it, almost on. without, it, almost it, music is always with everything. Huh? Some and somehow, some capacity, bro. I'm listening to. I probably consume more older music than I do new music, bro. No, for sure. Like niggas don't. Again, I'm talking catalogs. So yeah. like niggas. Don't be having good catalog. So you study a nigga that had two or three songs you fuck with, but do you know how many niggas you can name just drop in a day? You play this shit all the way through. Yeah. Like no, you feel that's you just hit play and don't want to skip nothing. Like Damn. You gonna do that the first time just because you listening to this shit. But yeah. after that you're gonna be like, No, I ain't like track number three, yeah. track number four was trash. Like yeah. you feel yeah. what's I could la- do without this. What's one. the last class of album you heard, dog? That shit hard to even like <laughs> it wasn't nothing. I ain't had to skip nothing. Yeah, the last, like honestly, I think the last probably for me it might be four, 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 four classic. But I'm trying to like the last one. It's, it's hard, and that's and that tell you how hard it is. I don't, I, don't, I know they was all around the same time, so I can go four, four, four. Yeah, nothing was the same. Okay, was my beautiful dark twisted fantasy around that time too? Yeah, let's argue about that though. What the my beautiful dark twisted yeah. fantasy? I, I gotta go back and listen to it. I never thought that was like always, musically. Yeah, I didn't uh, musically, bro. That yeah. shit is like that shit amazing. That was probably the last time Kanye lyrics and shit Met actually something. matched the production. Okay, not a production be like over the, <laughs> the production be over the top, but yeah. like nigga, he don't really the yeah. song ain't even cold. Yeah. Like For it's sure. just a production. So that's probably about the last time he did that shit. When I go work, I'm about to listen to that shit again, dog. But um, Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah, that shit, yeah. Now, I like... 2014 name, Forest Hills Drive. I like to pimp, a, to pimp a Butterfly better. To Pimp a Butterfly, that's classic. Yeah, like... And I think the reason why niggas don't understand that album because a lot of songs starts off with, like, some weird shit. Then get to the motherfucking banger. Who you got? So, who you got, Kendrick uh J. Cole? Cole? Kendrick, thing. my nigga, don't get me wrong. It's, it's not like a big gap. 
but I just think J. Cole, that like, nigga in my top. Yeah, that nigga, like, that nigga, dog. Like, you Both know what I'm saying? Niggas. It just was, I think, universally, J. Cole shit is easier on the ears for people to understand, even though people try to make jokes and shit, like, they be falling asleep. And, like, yeah. His shit, his <laughs> shit like, easier on, on the ears. <laughs> I fuck with Kendrick, but niggas. You gotta listen to Kendrick a couple times or mm-hmm. some shit. Like you could catch Cole what he's talking about. For sure, right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kendrick definitely one of those ones you gotta go back and like, damn, I, I missed that whole little shit, mm-hmm. dog. You know what I'm saying? And because I do it, because I write, I know, like, nigga, that shit ain't easy to do. Like sure. he ain't wasting a line on that bitch. Yeah, like, you know what hell I'm no, hell no. Now tell me this, bro. Since we on, we on it, kind of like on this topic. What's a song or an album? Like if I wanted no stats. I want to get to know you, bro. Without telling me any words, you play this song, and this is this is your your life. It could be your song, or it could be one of your favorite artist song. But what's a song that's gonna tell me about you without you having to say anything? So if it's if it's my song, I'm gonna say "Still in This Marathon" off of my first MVP season. Okay. If it's somebody else shit. Yeah, it's my else shit, bro. Damn. They want to get to know you, dog. Like you know, what I'm saying with me, I always say it was slipping with DMS because like life is hard, nigga. Sometimes you feel me. And you be slipping, but nigga, like you say, you gotta get up, nigga. Nipsey Hustle, Kendrick Lamar dedication. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. That's you, huh? Yeah. Because I why well, you say it? Cause like just cause you, the, the time and work you put in this shit, cause you say you studying and everything. Yeah, you get the fruits of your labor and shit. Yeah. Like that's what Nip did. That's how he came up with everything he did. You gotta For study sure. shit, bro. Niggas just be out here dropping or get around a popular nigga and think this nigga about to make it work. <laughs> that shit only gonna work for the first couple of songs. Yeah, like, you feel me? No, for sure. You definitely gotta stay what you do, cause like I said, I was telling somebody I forgot who I was talking to. I don't How know. you gonna do something different? Like you yeah. ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, ain't shit gonna pop. You being like everybody else, like yeah. you feel me? You gotta do something to stand out for sure. And some niggas get that fucked up. We're thinking to stand out, you gotta go embarrass yourself. <laughs> like, you know <laughs> you what know. I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. A lot of niggas be looking like some clowns. Niggas be trying to do dumb ass shit on social media, and then <laughs> wonder why niggas ain't fucking with your music. Like, bro, you you you, you a comedian? Bro, you, you funny? And what you like, don't understand? I was just saying this shit, bro. To this, me and him talking about this a lot. An uh, interview is gonna sell yourself, bro. Like the way you present yourself on social media on the interview is gonna sell yourself. So if I fuck with you, I might give you a second chance just because I thought your first project was trash. But you came, with, you buy this interview so tough, nigga. Mm-hmm. I want to go ahead and support. I want to like you just mm-hmm. because of the type of person you are. You feel me? And we got somebody I think in common that we both probably hit up as far as like ideas and shit. Even though I'm a year older than this nigga, I don't give a fuck. But Diddy, dog. My nigga Diddy. I, nah, I talked to this nigga yesterday for like 30 minutes, like, just giving this nigga ideas and shit. Like, are you the same type of person? Like, do you talk to that nigga about shit that you got going on? Yeah, it's my, my, that's my nigga. He knew I had the, uh, he knew I had this, how I was doing the uh, three-piece shit. I think he was the only nigga yeah. that I talked to about the shit. I'm like, shit, I'm about to drop the MVP three-piece, and I'm yeah. going to do it like this. He's the only nigga. He like, bro, don't tell nobody that shit, <laughs> niggas. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I already know. Yeah, yeah. Like, bro. And like I said, he a, he a smart nigga. He funny as fuck. But like, when it comes to business, that nigga be on his shit, bro. Nigga, I for sure be influencing niggas, too. Yeah. Like, that's a whole nother conversation, though. Shit, why? why I, I, hear? I hear that. I could hear it when I listen to niggas' music. I could tell when a nigga done heard my shit. <laughs> and probably was like, damn, I need to do something like that. And then went and tried to do that. I could hear that shit. Yeah, we got um, a lot of comment then. <laughs> I be <laughs> <laughs> No, for sure, bro. Niggas be what's the name? And ain't nothing wrong with that. Because, like, you feel me? Like I said, I study shit to be, in, it's to be inspired. Sure. But when it shit be that close, bro, ain't, your props, I ain't going to do that shit and not <laughs> tell a nigga, like, damn, bro. <laughs> Like, you feel me? Niggas act like they cook some shit up by themselves. <laughs> Have you uh, ever been influenced from somebody in that type of manner? Like, not maybe mimicking them, but like, like you said, you was influenced by Nip with the Crenshaw album. Like, mm-hmm. have you ever been influenced by one of your peers in, around here? Maybe nah, that nigga I'm came not. in hard as fuck on the verse. Like, no, me and, well, me and Hustle, when we do our shit, it just be like iron sharp, sharp and iron for real. Like, most of the time, if we in the studio together, that mm-hmm. shit gonna be crazy. If we not, for some reason, we both listening to the beat on our own and yeah. we had meet in the studio to do the shit the same day. Yeah. We talking about similar shit. Yeah, like yeah, you feel me? Sure, it's certain sure. we got similar lines on that shit, but I ain't even talked to this nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah. You feel me? So the shit just be like and, that. But as dog, far as uh That's why I fuck with y'all niggas heavy, bro. Like as far as I ain't gonna say influence, the shit I that I take that I uh that I just appreciate the shit like uh yeah. how I watch niggas around the city move, like uh Peasy and all them niggas, they relationships. Oh yeah, like, for sure. That's me? important. Like, niggas, them niggas ain't never gonna fall off because everybody getting their own bag yeah. and shit. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. And they help promoting the next nigga. Like, for sure. No, them and then like you said with yourself, bro. I know you probably been going at this, and I don't know. I'm just 
I'm speaking for you a little bit, but you might be feeling this way. Sometimes that grind, sometimes it don't like shit coming quick enough, but man, you you working. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. Cause niggas like PZ, niggas like Babyface Ray, GT, like Vezo, them niggas been doing that shit so long. You might think them niggas was, you would think them niggas was 40 something, nigga. Yeah. Like <laughs> for real. But they put yeah. that work in and finally, you know what I'm saying, finally caught up. And I think sometimes when the grind, when the grind take a little bit of time, you appreciate it a little bit more than that shit coming overnight, you feel me? Now I'm gonna stir some shit up. I gotta say this, like four seven day HP. I I don't li I don't listen to many rappers, but to me, all uh, the niggas who make a noise at HP is you hustle. Is uh Trice. Shout out to my dog. Fees and Rio, dog. Shout out to my dogs. You know what I'm saying? Because like it, it might be a lot of niggas. It's about being active, bro. You going about what you, you and you ain't saying nothing wrong. You just going about what you see. But that mm -hmm. be a thing. Niggas got to be active. Like, niggas got to be active. Cause like, even with the list, niggas was mad that they wasn't on the list. Like damn, bro, how much music did you drop this year? When the last time you said something? Yeah. Niggas gonna tell you some shit that they dropped a couple years of years ago. ago. Bro, like, you feel me? You had I had HP do. I'm not gonna name names, but he hit me about coming on the show. And the thing that I noticed because I went back when I had I knew you was coming on the show. I looked at your uh your IG page. Your IG page promote promotes nothing but music, sure. and that's what it should be. Certain people don't understand that and they promote family. Like that got to be a separate page. The label don't shit. even give a fuck about shit like that. Yeah, exactly. Put that shit on your story. The label ain't gonna go on your page and be like, damn. Nigga got cute son. All right, like, <laughs> feel like hey, yeah. it hasn't got four kids. Like all right, man. <laughs> oh, family reunion was in July. Yeah, like that. labels don't want to see that shit, bro. Exactly. Not even labels, just a fan. When you're a fan, like they don't want to see. All that shit. Yeah, for like, sure. You feel me? And yeah, if it yeah. wasn't for this shit, I wouldn't even have social media. No, for sure. No. I, I, it's a lot of people that say that shit, bro. Like, I spend more time on my on my podcast page than I do on my personal page. Because, like, mm -hmm. nigga, fuck that. Nigga, that shit, whatever, dog. Like, some niggas spend so much time on social media, it fucked them up and don't know how to, like, like you say, go back and study or try to bury off your craft because you're so busy worried about likes and shit. That's the, that's the thing, bro. It's yeah. like, when, when a motherfucker catch on, bro, you could have had... 5,000 posts. Like, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, for sure. All them bitches got one or two likes. So when the motherfuckers catch on, yeah. they going to go run all them bitches up. Like, it's going to sure. be overnight. You're going to be like, God damn. Yeah. Like, you feel me? They going to run all that shit up. What's, what's your advice to a nigga that's, 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 that's rapping and feel like, nigga, like, on the come up? Just a nigga who just, you know, they just starting off. What's your advice? Like you said, you thought you was going to get signed off the first project. A lot of niggas do their music mm -hmm. and they think they're going to blow up overnight. What's your advice to an up and coming rapper? Shit, enjoy the process. If you know what you're doing, like, if I knew what I knew now, like, just to enjoy the process. Back then, I think I was just getting into it. So I think that's just how everybody feel in general, like, as soon as you yeah. start some shit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. After you listen back, like, no, I wouldn't have signed me either. Yeah, for like, sure. Feel me? Not right then. Like, <laughs> no. you feel me? But uh, just enjoy the process. Like, if you know what you're doing, it might take a minute. But when it's your time, it's your time. Enjoy the process, you feel me? Because you don't never know how the next person looking at you. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? People be, some people be looking at me thinking, I got a manager and all that shit, doing all this shit. And they like, yeah. no, nah, this is me. Yeah, all you. Me, this is all me. Like, you feel me? How Put hard is that shit work, doing it by up yourself? With the ideas and shit. That shit tough, I'm huh? a creative, bro, but it is. It is, but I ain't never... I was just telling my mans, my uh, engineer sale, like, bro, I ain't gonna never... I, the way I create shit, I ain't gonna never run out of ideas. I said it online on one of them songs. Like, niggas trying to... Uh, Niggas trying to steal a wave that I just created. Yeah, I can make sure. another wave because I'm that creative. Like, yeah. bro, I, ain't, I could start up all over again yeah, and do yeah. something different. Like, you know, it really don't matter to me. For sure, man. Now, I know you a thug, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I got to ask this question, though. You know what I'm saying? You're a real nigga. Sure. If you don't answer, you ain't going to answer it. <laughs> For sure. When last time you cried, bro? I've been asking this question to everybody, shit. dog. What was the reason, nigga? Probably, uh, my cousin DeWine got killed. It probably was... Okay. Oh, shit, my bad. It was like four years ago, maybe. Yeah. Four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, and Shed I, a couple tears and shit, which shit was fucked up. Yeah. Like, you feel? Now, of course, that's that's going to bring pain. What's, what's some shit that made you cry that came out the blue? Like, what the fuck, bro? Oh, you ain't had that shit? I was about to say, I, ain't, I don't think I had that shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't going to Some shit that had me side, I was going through some shit with my kids, and shit, I was going through the court card process. I got joint custody of my kids, so at the time, yeah. I ain't see my daughters. Were like, I, so that fucked me up. Oh, like, for, sure, me, for sure, for sure, for sure. For How many kids you got? That, two. Two, okay. Two, I got one on the way. Okay, oh shit, congrats, bro. You know what you have? A girl. Damn, you got girl, three girls? Dad. Yeah, Kobe. You, you know what that mean, though, though? Kobe, all right. You know what that mean, bro? We got girls and shit. They say that nigga, yeah, I mean, you was doing, you was, you was, you was treating girls crazy back in the day. 
Probably yeah, one point. I don't think it was that bad though, bro. Yeah. You know I had like three girls, but like shit, it is what it is though. You, you gonna try again and get that little stats dog? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> you say you done, huh? Hell no, nah, I'm done. I'm tired. Duh, hell no. Nah. See, I got three too. I got two boys and girls, so I'm good. If anything happened to me, knock on wood. She got two older brothers to go ahead, you know what I'm saying, take care of that. That'd shit. be the that'd be the main thing. Like, yeah, for sure. Like nigga, like dog, cause you understand, like man, what's going on now with these with these young girls, bro? They need some protection out here for sure, for sure. No, nah, for sure. Yeah, dog. So, uh, man, talk about the bars. I was going back listening to y'all to old shit. I ain't want to do talk about the bars with your new shit, cause I want that shit to be fresh on niggas' minds and shit, dog. Uh, yeah, so yeah. on um. Real real quick though, what's your favorite song off the off the new one? Is the uh, the Nip Hustle one? Still on this marathon. Yeah, yeah, Still that's my shit, dog. That shit, yeah. he was going crazy on that motherfucker, yeah. dog. Kinda you you went crazy yeah. on the on the intro though. Yeah. Like I said, that's why I say I know you strategic when it comes to motherfucking intros, dog. Cause if a nigga don't, if a nigga don't want to listen to your shit after the intro, then he bring it to music, dog. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So talk about the bars, man. You say, uh, uh, when I'm feeling stressed, I wrote my problems. I wrote my problems in the leaf on Legend. That was the, the uh, intro slash Legend mm -hmm. and stuff. So talk about that, bro. Like, do you be having niggas you can talk to? Or do you feel like nigga like when you got problems, like you stressed out about some shit, nigga? You, just smoke that shit and then be like, man, I'm gonna just keep it moving. Man, I usually just every now and then it depends on the situation, bro. Yeah. Sometimes I be feeling like niggas pouring in me so much, you know, I, <laughs> like you feel me, and then like I ain't got shit. Like, <laughs> took all y'all shit, like you feel me. Um, Facts. So, but most of the time I, I just smoke a blunt. I smoke a blunt, and write some shit. Yeah. Like, Hell yeah. Now by myself, you said if my niggas ain't down, I do this shit all by myself. How many times you try to like be like, hey man, let's do this shit, and then niggas don't want to, you know, what I'm saying niggas don't see a vision. That was one. That's one of them things niggas just learned in the new year, bro. I, I pride myself on trying to put my niggas first. You feel me? But that yeah. shit don't always work out, and niggas don't always want to do their part. Like you feel me? So niggas don't want to do their part. Nigga, I'm gonna do all these jobs by myself. Like <laughs> for sure. You know? Yeah. Have I, anybody ever came to you like, bro? I should have. I should, nigga. I should have fucked with you when you said that shit. Bro, all the time. That's the most beautiful shit about just doing. Doing music and having people, you know what I'm saying, people not see your vision and then some part, some part like somewhere on your marathon, yeah. they gonna peep like, damn, bro, sure. still going at it hard, or yeah. it's gonna be something that they admire about that shit. So yeah. usually when that happens, it's a conversation like, damn, damn, bro, I should have said this. I'm had a conversation with all types of people, bro. Some OGs, hey. you feel me, family members, all types. Side shit. note, bro. Side note, I'm I'm, a, I'm gonna come back to the bars. Give niggas. What's wrong with these niggas who be selling these hats and them bitches? Like, your hat, you got perfect. Like, when you say your, have your merch, your hat game, perfect. Niggas been coming on, I ain't gonna say no names, and gave me a hat, bro. That bitch was like that long, nigga. Like, <laughs> like I could, like, like when it could, cause <laughs> for real, though. No. That's what, that's what niggas do it. <laughs> like, niggas buy, like, the and cheapest, niggas, <laughs> niggas getting the cheapest material. <laughs> Look, I made this jacket I got on. This bitch is premium. This bitch is wool. That's your premium heart, yeah. leather. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Everything in this bitch embroidered. Yeah. Niggas uh, get the cheapest material. <laughs> yes, that and nobody want to wear that shit. <laughs> Duh. Come on, I put your hat on. Bam. I got a long face, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I put the bitch on. This part right here is hitting my head. Nigga, it's some shit I put on. Like, nigga, I look like... Like, nigga, that brim that that bitch just sagging over yeah. your, you feel me over your eyes, nigga can't even see the brim <laughs> sagging down. Oh. Bro, so so do you got somebody? Like, I ain't gonna take give it out, but you got somebody you go to and like pay a nice little penny and shit to make sure that bitch right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Every time. and I, I don't even, I'm not even proceeding shit. I'm in the fashion anyways, bro. Yeah. So if I'm gonna do some merchant shit, I can't even put that shit out if that shit ain't right. You hey, you saying? rappers, if y'all trying to do some shit, dog. Hey. Contact my dog, dog. See where you can get some real shit, bro. They be doing it too. Them be some big ass hats, dog. <laughs> nigga, my son Dreads can't even fit the bitch, dog. Yeah, but, oh shit, yeah. Now, uh, next one, dog. On the, on the talk about the bars, bro. You say, uh, nigga say happy. Nigga say happy for you, but they really hating, on lacking. You, you you do you experience that a lot, bro? Like niggas really kind of like kind of be envious of what you got going on bro but they claim they be happy for you bro this is an envious job you a rapper bro like i go back all the way i said about the cash money shit like we talking about cash money no limit rockefeller mm. that's what we saying niggas want to be basketball players and rappers and shit like now we just at the point where the shit's so easy to do like it's easy to pay a nigga 30 dollars and go in the studio and record or just record on your phone or some bullshit so mm -hmm. Everybody want to be a rapper, bro, but everybody not cold. So it's a lot of niggas that wanted to do that shit and then yeah. tried, and they wasn't successful and shit. <laughs> yeah, like, sure. you feel me? And they, they looking at you 
fucked up because they know you and you doing this shit. Like yeah, you feel me? That yeah. make them envious. Like how the fuck this nigga doing that shit? So they don't even want to give you they, your, they props. Yeah. Like you feel me? Yeah, like, niggas be trying to talk to me all the time. Like bro, I bet you I could do this. Like bro, no. okay. Go ahead, go do that shit. Try bro. that shit. Like that Joe Budden shit when he was talking about I love to see niggas feel. That's yeah. type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the type of shit I, I, that I, he was talking about, shit like that, like damn, bro, you just yeah. saying, like damn, I just, like damn, you think you just do anything I do? Like go ahead, bro. For sure, try that shit. It ain't gonna be this, bro, because only like going back to what I said, it's only one me, bro. Yeah, you might that. can cook up some dope shit in there, but it ain't gonna be what I would yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Like, and you know can saying? you be consistent at cooking dope shit too? Niggas drop a hot song, nigga, but can you drop a hot project? You feel me? So yeah, but uh, you say cut some niggas off the roster because the plane ain't taking off. To speak on that. That was off your off your last project on Splash Bros. Back. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, have you ever been time you had to cut niggas off and you like you you hated you had to do it, but you just had to do it though. Like I said, bro, I'm still on this marathon. I just had to do that shit. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, just had to do some shit with some people that I'm real close to. And then like the love's still there, bro. But you gotta just know. You gotta cut into niggas and it's like the position like you feel me some niggas gonna bring you down just from the association if they ain't if they ain't willing to move forward in life you feel me and handle sure. their business and get on their shit like they need to yeah hell yeah all eyes on me you say niggas scared of competition they don't want me on their songs so nigga shit if niggas want to challenge you for that number one spot nigga give that motherfucker song dog like do you go in that bitch like purposely like even if it shit nigga it could be hustle it could be your family it could be your homies you go in that bitch like, cause it, it, they should be thinking the same thing. The reason why I don't think I could ever lose in that, bro, cause yeah. anytime I'm on a song or I, when I'm doing shit with niggas, I'm not focused on having the coldest verse. Yeah. I'm focused on what make the song sound the best. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so for example, I got the, the new HP. Is it? We got new HP one and two. Mm-hmm. I had the first verse. I'm on that bitch battle rapping because I'm on that bitch with like six other niggas. Yeah. I'd have start this bitch off and make yeah, niggas comfortable sure. for the next nigga because we all in the studio at the same time. So this next nigga to come behind me, yeah. somebody else could come behind him. Like, you feel me? The shit got to be just right because then you the first nigga. Like, yeah, you feel me? If you sure. don't say the wrong shit, niggas going to be like, the fuck? <laughs> the yeah. other six, seven niggas going to be mad as hell. Yeah, like, yeah, this so nigga stacks get... on that bitch trash as hell, bro. Yeah, I don't even get to get my shit off. So you got to, you feel me? It's whatever make the song better. Like, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Master P, bro. You say still in that million dollar cash race. I nigga like when it comes to when you think about that shit, you trying to get it how you can, dog. I mean, if it's if it's you say you acting, you doing different things, or you like you want to see that shit strictly come from this fucking music. I want to do the music because I love to do it. I yeah. think I'm just an overall creative. Yeah. So like as far as acting, like I I like writing. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to put together a little series and shit now. I put together a script to do something. So like, for sure, I'm just creating. So like, whatever, whatever path that lead me down, but music always gonna be number one. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now last one on Splash Bro Bay. You say nigga wasn't getting shine, so I took some time off. Like, do you feel like you put all this hard work in? Do you ever feel like sometimes nigga like, it's a waste? No, I don't think I'll be feeling like that no more, bro. Cause with. I know what I'm doing. And yeah. when you, the universe always give you signs. It's always like out the blue, bro. Like yeah. every, every project I drop, it always be something. I'll be like, damn, like, yeah. that let me know I'm doing, I'm in the right spot and I'm yeah. doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Now you kind of spoke on this. That's why I was going to leave it off, but fuck it. On all I was on me, you said, bitch, that's niggas talking what they did. I did that. Like you kind of said that shit, like nigga kind of like, you know what I'm saying, seeing the game and trying to go ahead and copy and paste and shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and that's all it is, like, bro. I done seen some shit. I done did some shit. I done did some shit that I ain't never talk about just because I rap. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Niggas just be and niggas be lying. A yeah. lot of niggas be lying. Like I said, I think I'm one of the last niggas, and I go back to the music I listen to. Like, yeah. You feel me? I'm one of the last niggas that be wanting to keep it real. Like, you yeah. feel me? Y'all for sure need to copy that nigga hat game because y'all niggas has to be too big. <laughs> Y'all niggas had extra large. I was like, God damn, I got a big head in this bitch. And I'm looking like, I bet there's a snap back and big like that. Yeah, that bitch like, what's my man from off of, uh, crazy. Off of Looney Tunes, nigga? That's uh, crazy. The nigga, we, I think I thought I saw a, a fucking putty cat, nigga. That bitch. <laughs> Yo, Simmy and Sam and that motherfucker, that hat was that big, nigga. Like, That's that bitch was nigga, that shit in the closet chilling, nigga, for real, for real. <laughs> now, now, you already know what time it is, bro. We talking about bars, nigga. Gotta let them bitches go, dog. You see me a motherfucking beat you want to rap off of? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. let's get so it. So let's get it, dog. You already know, man. It's that time, man. Shout out style motherfucking Sunday, man. I'm going to stop saying the day because sometimes it's Sunday, sometimes it's Tuesday, nigga. Just, it's just shy style 16, nigga, but some niggas go over 16. It's all good. That means you a real MC and shit. We got motherfucking stacks in the building, man. Splash bro stacks in this bitch, dog. It's MVP style. MVP episode. Big stacks. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. 
Uh, the MVP, who else but me? Still be with the OGs that be cutting the keys. Bitches drop them to their knees cause they know I'm a king. Found a key to the game, it was a picture of me. You like the Bulls in 93 if we talking about teams. Blue Seaman Retro 3 with my hood on the tee. If you want to hear the best, then you gotta play me. If you want to see the boss, you gotta come and see me. Look, it's Big Stacks and Shy, the MVP of the pie. Niggas trying to get even because we beat all the eyes. I really plug niggas. I be throwing lives like LeBron. You probably gotta cop some merch just to see what I'm on. Sports Center Top 10 type of shit that I'm on. Only hit her one time, she won't leave me alone. Blowing good vibes, rolling, put me right in my zone. Niggas gotta wait in line, cause the king on the throne, nigga. Hey, hey. Still on this marathon till I pass the baton. Real niggas back in style, leave them fuck boys at home. Every time I touch down, I'm like Patty Mahomes. <laughs> Big steps. Uh. Shy. Hey. hey. Chiss. Hey, I don't rap, nigga, and I ain't gonna rap. I buy his liquor. Fucking trap. HP, HP day. Niggas talking all that bullshit is a relay. Hey, I don't freestyle and shit written. Your favorite MCs, yeah, them niggas bullshit. That nigga got the trophy, give him him the crown. Oh, yeah. The bitches on my dick, all frowns. <laughs> 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 I ain't rapping about shit, nigga. I ain't wrote this shit. Ain't that a bitch, nigga? He put this beat on, I had to spit. Podcast MVP, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> That, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, Let's dog. Let's go, man. Hell yeah. We got Q behind the building. I say behind the building, nigga. Behind the boards and shit, dog. MVP season, man. HP day, man. Number one, nigga. This nigga the king HP. HP. HP day, man. Hell yeah. Four seven day. Let's get it. <laughs> I said trash. <laughs> no, I gotta ask you, bro. I gotta ask you, dog. What happened to the podcast, man? Bro, nothing <laughs> for real. Uh, what happened to the podcast, dog? Cause what it was uh, it was, it was me it, and my girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name of the shit was um. Penny, Penny for your for thoughts. Th- for your thoughts. That just cause me and her be having them type of conversations, anyways, bro. Yeah. So like we always be kicking it. So what happened to it, man? What 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 what? what why it stop? Bro, we just want to do that bitch from the crib. Mm-hmm. And then so much shit just start happening. Like we want to bring it back after the uh. After the um, baby born and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what was your, what was y'all shit like? Focus about was like arguments between y'all two. Shit, y'all disagreed on like topics. Like, how was it? Yeah, that shit was uh just a little random shit that we disagreed on or some shit or one of her friends, you know, girls be having conversations. Nah. Like, well, shit. I mean, my friend was talking about this. Like, yeah. how you feel being a nigga? Like, yeah, coming yeah, from a sure. nigga point of view and vice versa. All right, nigga. So you know, what I'm saying speaking of podcasts and topics, I got a question for you, bro. Yeah. Be honest, like, nigga, no disrespect to nobody. I'm gonna say it again. No disrespect. To nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you got the disclaimer. You already exactly. know some shit. So it's, it, all right, I'm going to give you two scenarios, bro, and you tell me how you'll treat it. No disrespect to nobody. <laughs> 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 so you at work, bro. My man's cool as fuck. Cool ass nigga, dog. Like, uh, nigga, like, like, nigga, bitch. You know, <laughs> right, nigga, he a, cool, he, a, he a cool nigga, bro. Like, you like that nigga kind of cool and shit. He know music, you know, you know sports and shit, bro. Nigga want to kick it and shit, dog. Like, oh, y'all niggas go to the bird. I'm, I'm going to come through. Y'all got game now. I'm going to come through. Nigga Craig and shit. But he like, dog, you know, I just want to let you know right now, dog, before, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know you, you think I'm cool. We had conversations at work, but I'm into men. <laughs> like, you ain't got to say nothing if you want to, bro. <laughs> but, like, can you see, like, and like I say, I'm not, again, no disrespect. Like, hold on. You saying you at work with a nigga? Like, you at work with a nigga. And y'all cool? Y'all like, cool you know, as fuck. Like, he know about, he know about niggas, everything. You know, that's how niggas be at work. Like, yeah. Niggas, all right, he know about everything. Like, he's your work man. Like, yeah, yeah, Only yeah. your man's at work. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure. Like, y'all talk about sports all the time. But he, he, nigga, he, he might hear you on the, on the phone. Might just know that you be kicking it. He like, oh, can I come up, kick with y'all, nigga? I'm not, I don't live here and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just want to let you know. Could you, could you hang with the nigga, dog? Could I hang with the nigga? Hell oh, no. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, you feel me? I ain't got nothing against gay people. Just like, no, yeah. that ain't my thing. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. That ain't my thing. Now, the flip side. Because this... he probably going to want to go places. You feel me? Yeah. That's for him and where his crowd at. Like, I want to go. Yeah. Where my crowd at. Like, you feel me? For sure. But what if he like, nigga, I'm, I'm for, I'll fuck with your crowd. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like, like cause it could it be uncomfortable. It, 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 it depends. It, yeah. it depends. It depends on what. It depends on what's the event, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, it depends on like, what's the event. Certain like, places, like bro, I ain't gonna give a fuck. Then shit, for sure. Yeah, yeah. This bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like turn up. Cause like my producer said, I think you, he said that like, 
Niggas should know me enough to know, like, nigga, no matter who the fuck I bring, y'all know who I, y'all know how I get down, y'all know me. Yeah, at the same time, bro, it's like so many people do it. Yeah. You don't know who a nigga could be. A nigga could be gay as hell, black <laughs> as you feel me. He could yeah. be the relationship you need, not yeah. the, like, the business relationship for you sure. need to get in the dough somewhere else. Like, no, bro. for sure. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. Now, on the flip side, what, if a family member come out, like, can you, like, with me, I don't give a fuck. I, I got family at, you know what I'm saying? I got gay uncle, gay auntie, rest in peace, both of them, they both passed away. But, like, I will be a little hurt. Like, no disrespect to nobody. <laughs> but my brother kind of me like, nigga, you know, shit, I got to change the heart. I'll be hurt, bro. I ain't like, going to lie. I'll be fucked up, nigga. Yeah. Like, I don't even know now because niggas older. I know, like, me and my cousins, like, yeah. I'm the only child and shit, at least on my mama's side. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, like, four cousins that I grew up with and shit. But, like, if if it was one of us, bro, like, yeah. we would have beat, we would have all just jumped that nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> Right, I had to beat his ass. Like, you feel me? Like, hold on, bro. What? Like, you feel me? <laughs> now I don't know how I be because niggas older, but niggas is younger. But he's niggas a for show. <laughs> dog for show getting his ass beat. Like, bro, what? I'm like, no, we don't even do that shit. Like, <laughs> but like, he said, that's the young days, though. Yeah, like, you feel me? that's what I'm saying. I'm older now, bro. I don't know what a nigga do. Just be like, you got to accept it, though. Yeah, for sure. That's a fact. That's, that's a fact. fact. <laughs> Real shit. Like, bro, that's, that's a fact. Funny. Dog, cause it's like dog. When you get older, bro, your thinking is different than when you was young, dog. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? <laughs> That's how I put that disclaimer on there, though. Like, yeah, yo, when yeah. I was younger, no, I know for sure, yeah. and everybody would have been with it. Same for sure, time, like, for sure. Hey, he was young. Like I said, no disrespect. Like you heard, nobody. cause you said like, <laughs> I'm about to go beat this nigga ass. Dog, that shit is hilarious. That's the funniest shit ever, dog. No disrespect to nobody. <laughs> but yeah, dog, it's like, those questions come up a lot, bro, because like nowadays, bro, you see that shit so fucking much. You know what I'm saying? Like, like and, of course, I'm all... And always, that's the difference, too, bro. It wasn't out there like that yeah, when we was kids. It. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, yeah. you feel... You could have been at, like... Some of these kids, most of these schools, it's For damn sure. near 50 50 in that bitch now. What? Hell yeah. Like, you know dog. what I'm saying? Like, I was, That's like, a big difference. I was happy with my Like, of course, you you want your son, especially when you got a son, nigga. He carrying your the torch, the last name. My son is named after me, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when he had, like, oh, I got a little girlfriend. All right, bad, cool. Thanks. Oh, if I little Jimmy had in his bed, like, hell, hell, he nigga got yeah. condoms and shit, bro. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, bro. And people got to know that, too, bro. Like, just because somebody prefers something down with yeah. somebody discriminating against exactly. you. Like, exactly. You yeah. Me? Yeah, that's just what you you want your son. I prefer a black woman. Do I mean I hate white women? Like, <laughs> exactly. no, <laughs> like, so, that's my preference. Hell yeah, okay. hell yeah, dog. Damn, that shit. That's what that was hilarious, bro. <laughs> we gonna fucking nigga drop kick that nigga dog. <laughs> Going down. down. Hell yeah. What would you do differently, bro, with the start of your rap career? What would you anything you'd do different? Uh, just start creating my own wave earlier, bro. Mm-hmm. And start paying attention to the business aspect. Like you said, when niggas first start rapping, niggas just be rapping, bro. Like, mm-hmm. this shit really a business. Yeah. Like, you feel me? And if you know the business, once you get in the business, like, you feel me? For sure. It's over. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Now You've I'm seen ha- a lot of niggas do that shit. Like, you feel me? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, I'm having a brain fart re- real quick, but you, uh, using my homegirl movie, bro. Robin. Robin. Robin niggas and shit. She do a little click click. Yeah. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Robin. I was just talking to her. She about to, um, she about to direct uh one of my videos off of three P. Oh, for real? Yeah. Talk about that though. Like, was that your first uh first thing you acted in? First thing I acted in, bro. Yeah, how I was it? Cold. Like, how was it, dog? Did you feel like you did a good job? It was cool. I thought I did good. I felt for sure for like I could have did better and shit. I'm yeah. Sure shit. Like, hold on. I yeah, know we... I could have said that better than that. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it's a movie, I'm gonna go two things: a movie and a rap group. If you can sub in for a nigga in a movie. What movie would that be? Oh, and if you could sub in for a nigga in a rap group, what rap group would that be? A rap group. <laughs> All right, I got two. I got two for the rap group. Yeah. Either uh, JD Kiss and the Locks. Okay. Or Young Jewel Santana and Dipset. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. What about the movie tip? Who who spot you want to go ahead and sub in for, dog? For the for the movie tip. Franklin. Franklin. Oh, man, it's a g- American gangster. Oh shit. A uh, snow nigga. That's the shit, bro. This nigga right here ain't. You watch the last episode? Nope, I'm gonna go watch it today. Oh man. shit, you nigga. This has been the hardest season ever. I ain't gonna say this nigga. He'll watch it one day, dog. I'm glad because last season wasn't it. Nigga, last season wasn't it at all, bro. It was like 
You had a couple episodes, but bro, come on now. This nigga come in there, bitch, and, and motherfucking make the little edible cake and shit, though. And have, have everybody high and hallucinating. Mm -hmm. and then a the fucking tiger in that bitch. Like, come on, oh, bro. bro. That's the show, my bad, bro. You said the movie, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you said that shit. So you Franklin and shit, dog. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now, uh, I know you did it before. I might have did this last time you was on here, dog. If not, then fuck it. Making the band, your album. Motherfucker Stacks album. You and four other people, bro. Who is going to be? Like, from where? Just anybody? Anybody. It could be rappers, singers, or producers. It could all make your band, dog, from those, you know what I'm saying, categories and shit, dog. Dang. I probably didn't ask this shit then. <laughs> I'm going to say me. That's my Babyface Ray. All right. That's two in that motherfucker. That's mm -hmm. three more in this bitch. I need a girl. It's that motherfucker Stacks HP album and shit, man. Oh, I gotta put hustle on there. Got to. Hell yeah. I was I was gonna say nothing. I was gonna say some afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you hustle, baby face Ray. Me hustle, baby two more. face Ray. I need it from the since we HP, we got to connect with a nigga from the east side and the west side. So I'm gonna say payroll. All right, for sure. Y'all talking, y'all talking shit. And, uh, is that it? Or I got one more. Got one more. You hustle, babyface Ray, motherfucking payroll. I'm trying to. Um, I need somebody to do some hooks. For sure, guy had that. Some dog ass hooks, a female though. Yeah. It could be industry, it could be whatever, dog. Down the street, industry, whatever. We're going to take Cash Down for the win. Cash Down? All right, bet. Hey, that's the Stacks album, dog. Hustle, you, Bayface, Ray, Payroll, and motherfucking yeah, Cash that Down. That number one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Shit, man. Speaking of, like, movies and shit, dog. Shit, man, we need, what? We need a Stacks movie, dog. You, you ever my talk about trying, Yeah, my, uh, my little team. Well, I'm starting to build a team now mm -hmm. that I'm working with. Yeah. They um just said something to me about that, bro. Like, yeah. Why don't you wanna I do wanna do something, bro. Like I just like I said, I'm just I'm in the acting the shit dope. I just think uh yeah. I just need to get better at that shit so I had to keep doing it. Yeah, cause shit, she had you she you went by your government. I ain't gonna say your government is but you had the little government name in that bitch. That nigga was professional and shit. You know you professional when you acting, you don't say your rap name in that, as an actor and shit like like T I was Clifford, motherfucking Harris in that bitch, like you know what I'm saying? Lil' Chris mm -hmm. Chris Bridges in this bitch, like you know and, a nigga serious, dude. And them two different checks too. Hell yeah, yeah for right, sure. Hell Two yeah. Two different checks. Hell yeah. What's some shit you learned business wise, dog? I'm, uh, as far as like, since you've been in music, what's some shit you learned business wise that you did you might not know or might surprise you? Besides the whole Besides streaming ain't shit. Besides no money in this shit. Yeah. Um. I guess that's the main thing. Ain't no money in this motherfucker. Niggas don't. Yeah, niggas don't be getting paid for real. It'd be crazy too, cause on the. I do this shit, so I know. But for niggas that don't know and just be listening, to niggas like they be thinking like the hottest nigga in the hood, whoever yeah. niggas playing in the hood, like he rich as fuck because he got ten chains. <laughs> hell like, yeah, hell yeah, dog. Like bro, he might be one of the brokest niggas on the way. <laughs> like, hell yeah, broke as hell. Now we end everything off because uh, I'm doing a versus battle, but I'll give you two things, two categories, two people. You tell me who'll win. Good. All right, dog. Give me a uh, vibes versus MVP season two. Versus MVP season two. This is shit, by the way, y'all. This is projects. I'm gonna go MVP season two just because it's like vibes is a vibe. Yeah. Martin and Gene doing that bitch. That's a classic. For sure. Hell yeah. But, uh, that shit was hard. Yeah. You going with MVP but the, season two? Probably the features. Okay. Hey, easy yeah. Sam Short. Sam yeah, you got some shit. Yeah. Um, lacking with hustle, like all them was like, I'll probably play them bitches anywhere at the club. Vibes ain't for that though. For sure, like, for sure. Versus, you about to get, you know, what I'm saying you're late, you're late about to mess around. Kids gone, so y'all about to go ahead and you know go crazy and shit. You rather be off the off the drink or off the weed? <laughs> what you going crazier off of? <laughs> I'm always off the weed, so I'm probably gonna go crazy <laughs> off the drink. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, man. Groups. Groups. Who win it, dog? G Unit versus Dipset. Damn. 
I want to say Dipset, but that Lox shit. Well, it couldn't, <laughs> couldn't Gene wouldn't have beat the Locks either, though, but. No, but that, that, but, that, 50, but Gene had that little two year run, bro. For like, sure. So, when, do they get to play their individual shit, too? All group. So, it's like 20 songs, so like. All group. Tony Ayo could bring like two of his singles, yeah. Lloyd Banks, and then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit gonna that shit gonna make a difference. Uh, I think what's the name, bro? I might have to give it to uh, G Unit. Okay. Cause All you right. got fifty. The shit that he gonna come with the G Unit shit together. I think Lloyd Banks and them niggas had Young Buck. They had like bigger singles. Yeah, for sure. Than the rest of them niggas. Other than we balling. Yeah, balling. That's that's gonna get. But that's right. You wanna ride with me? That shit was like hard. yeah, shit yeah. like that. Like you feel yeah. me? I forgot the one. What's the name? Had one. I think we might have been with A Marie or somebody like that. Uh, Lloyd Banks. Yeah, yeah, hell like yeah. but shit like that. Like so, yeah. All you right. have to give it to June. So the last person I had, he'll blow the Friday one is out the picture. We are not talking about Friday one. Friday, <laughs> next Friday versus Friday at the next. Which one's the better movie? Friday two versus Friday three. So you got the one where he went to Rancho Cucamonga in the suburbs. That's two. Versus the one he, you know, saying the whole holiday shit three. I'm going two. See, oh, finally a smart man. I'm going two. You go, fuck with three, bro? Yeah, yeah. See, I go one, two, three. That nigga goes. I one. can go one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, I can go one, two, three. For bro. sure. For sure. Real, real quick though, can you ask me about that? Who you think about the Lil Wayne and uh, Fifty Cent? Who gonna win that? Yeah. Yeah, Lil Wayne, my favorite rapper, but it's gonna be hard. Fifty gonna give you a hard twenty, dog. I'm gonna go but, with Wayne just off the longevity, dog. But we going but this the thing, Wayne a better rapper than Fifty, right? Yeah. But Fifty Cent, Fifty got some big songs that might have aged better. Yeah. And the club aged better than Lollipop. Yeah, Fifty got some. I'm be, staying, I'm the nigga stand behind Jay Z. Uh, get Wayne out of here quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quick, mean, bro. It's the content of music and how they gonna look when they come out there standing next to each other. Lil Wayne still a goat though. Yeah, yeah, but Fifty gonna. 50 gonna give niggas a hard time, bro, with 20, cause he just got he got some shit. He got 20. Yeah. He got 20. He gonna give niggas. He got some shit, he bro. He gonna give niggas his shit gonna be. It's gonna be what everybody say the words to out that bitch. Yeah, like, you sure. know what I'm saying? He got some shit. And he like, got that shit. That nigga. Just say imagine the words when Wayne's to come out, nigga, come on, nigga, like. Or nigga, many men, nigga, like, when you hear that motherfucking 50, that, that, that fucking 50 cent piece fall to the ground. It's just gonna be when you do verses, even though you got a Barry Kellogg, then nigga, it's how that shit gonna hit though. And Lil Wayne got too many songs to choose from, like bro, you got t- yeah. two thousand songs. Which one? For sure, you no, like, for sure. And Lil Wayne called the shit is the mixtape shit. Yo, yeah, hell yeah, dog. You now, uh, summertime gear because you you say you in the fashion. Summertime gear versus that fall gear. Fall. Yeah, cause you can put that nice hoodie on, crew neck. Summertime, you could really just throw some niggas. We throw no, throwing hoop shorts on, nigga, t shirt. Yeah. Now we know music is the passion, but acting versus being a podcast host. Acting. Acting. All right. You get to be somebody else, man. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Wayne Brothers versus Jamie Foxx. Wayne Brothers. Thank you, dog. This nigga's a hater. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's a motherfucking hater, dog. Well, pops, man. Like, come on. Man. Everybody. <laughs> pops alone. He, he say the reason why Wayne Brothers is the only good thing about the Wayne Brothers show is pops. Without Pops, he say it'd be trash. Uh, Merlin Steele. Merlin Steele was funny, bro. Yeah, he was funny as hell, dog. He was that funny as hell. Jamie Foxx was a good show, too, bro. But Yeah. If you had to pick one shoe, this is going to be a three-man battle. One, cause this, oh, this, this is my shit, right? This is shit that yeah. we, all, we all rock. The White Air Ones, the Wheat Tims, or the Jordan Ones? Jordan Ones. Jordan ones, the original ones, the white and red or the bl- uh, red and black ones. The original. All right, the Jordan Elevens versus the Jordan Twelves. Elevens. Okay. Even though they got that gum bottom, the Elevens. Yeah. The Jordan Elevens. This is a battle with with, with the the con- the uh, the Concords versus the Cool Grays. I ain't even worn my Cool Grays yet. Um, you said you haven't worn the bitches yet, though. This nigga. No, bro. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I got too many shoes. Duh, I wish I was you. Um, <laughs> my, yeah, them concourses and them cool grades, them the classic boys. I mean, them, 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 them. Probably the cool grades. I just cause the concourse cold as fuck, bro. But yeah. I remember when I was in, I think sixth grade when them bitches came out. Yeah, 
And I remember, Nick, I couldn't get them bitches. Like, bro. my man, give me them bitches. But I just remember seeing bro. everybody with them bitches. I remember I was sick. them. I got them bitches. Like, I remember that shit, nigga. I got dang. the last. I got the last size too. The last big size. And I was like, at the time I was a size eight, nigga. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I had to run back to the crib, bro. Got the bitch from Eastland because I know it's gonna be a rap if I got caught up with them bitches, dog. Damn, I was sick. Hell yeah. yeah. So yeah, cool, Grace. Now I know last time he's on here, we ended everything with a drunk moment, a hot moment. Do you got a new story when you were drunk or high? That's funny. I'm trying to think when the last time. Once you can go in detail in, as we as I sip my Zawadi. <laughs> All right, I'm need another sip of that. <laughs> the taste is a gift, Zawadi. <laughs> High moment. Other than thinking some, you lost some shit that you got. Oh, what's, what's some shit? What's some shit like that? Cause I ain't fucked around, nigga. Thought I lost some car keys and that bitch in my hand. <laughs> nigga, pri- high as fuck. The Kanana pride done lost the buffs or something, niggas, on my face. Yeah, and bitch, on your face? On my face. <laughs> high as hell. Duh. Fuck my glasses, dude. First time you got high, bro, what was your thought process, if you can remember? Um, w- where was you at, dog? Probably outside, bro. Yeah. Either outside at the park. Yeah. Or like in a band house. <laughs> what? For trap, you have band- <laughs> trap house. Oh, okay, okay. Now you had to be hella, hella young when you was when you first smoked, right? Yeah, it was like I was in, I was like fifteen. Fifteen? Damn. Shit, first time I smoked some weed, I was a little older than that, dude. But that shit wasn't like what well, you was doing it because everybody else. Was- fifteen, I think I smoked probably like a couple of times, like every ninety. But I wasn't mad if I wasn't even getting high because I wasn't even smoking right. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, yeah. They don't even know how to smoke. Like, no, for sure. Like, I still don't. Like, so, <laughs> Exactly. So you don't know how to smoke. Like you ain't even what's the name. So yeah. I just remember feeling like it was nothing. It probably was like a year after that. Yeah. When I started smoking for real, I was yeah. trying to be an athlete and shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. I, see, that, that's the. All right. I ended on that. Like, I know MVP season. You got the. You got the range. You got the trophies. Like, did you always have aspiration of being like my fucking a nigga in the league? And can you hoop for real? Hey, I was my favorite player. Yeah. When I was coming up. Uh. Yeah, my nigga Floss now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My nigga floss up. My nigga, uh, my nigga floss from the. I used to be hooping with that nigga. He stayed down the street from. Me. So yeah. I used to see this nigga all the time. Nigga used to be at the Boys and Girls Club and shit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, nigga just need to get his win back up. <laughs> Hell yeah. You feel me? Be, For able, sure. to, be able to run. Hell run yeah. around the court and shit. But, Man, Allen no. Iverson, I think, was the most niggas. No, I for was sure. Like, it was AI for me over. I think everybody was either AI or Kobe. You yeah. Feel me? Hell yeah. After MJ, of course, and shit. But, For sure. Because I, I think doing the air raid was... I ain't even paid. Was MJ was the shoes for me. It was yeah. Allen Iverson, nigga. Yeah, because around that time... And I hated it was Kobe because they beat the in too. the finals. Yeah. T- yeah. yeah. And you could throw Vince in there, too. For sure. For sure. I think Vince, though, could have did a little bit more. A little that bit more. going to the finals twice, bro. Yeah, but motherfucking... T-Mac was that nigga. He yeah. could he could make out the after first he round. left from yeah after he left from uh Toronto with that nigga yeah man but shit man what you want to leave people off with dog you know what I'm saying we know a project coming let the people know something dog what's going on um MVP season the link should be up around the fourteenth so check my IG Splash Bros underscore Stacks that Stacks with a Z for everybody that slept on me yeah um just <laughs> go get three peat man if you listening to this go ahead and cop go ahead and either cop on uh iTunes or stream MVP season repeat and MVP season one. Yeah. Both them bitches classics. And I like how he said, nigga, you know what I'm saying? We both them niggas in his rap and shit, dog. He's, you know what I'm saying? Mitchie, your boy, dog. I always feel, you know what I'm saying? Feel tough with that. MVP <laughs> episode, man. Hell it's yeah. MVP, big stacks, big shot. You, you feel already know. MVP you already of the pop. Know. Shit, man. Appreciate you coming on this motherfucker, For dog. For sure, bro. Appreciate you. Make sure y'all get the album. Make sure y'all get some real hats. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Make sure y'all get that Zawadi, dog. Hey, man. Stop bringing that nigga that cheap ass merch. Dog, yeah. If you got some shit. <laughs> Bring it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, Cause I'm gonna rock it if it ain't big. <laughs> you feel me, man? Hey, it's HP Day. HP got day, motherfuckers. Only right, man. Got motherfucking stats, man. I'm gonna go ahead and crown him. He ain't gotta say it. Y'all can hate, though. Nigga, King of HP, dog. No, they gonna be mad as hell. Like, <laughs> we gonna put that mirror on. telling these niggas it ain't my fault, man. Just here, work harder. For sure. Know? For sure. Hey, hey, don't come on this bitch if, you, if your motherfucking music ain't hit, dog. Don't rap yesterday and try to get an interview tomorrow. You feel me? Shout out to everybody. Episode. <laughs> 156, Stacks in his motherfucker podcast MVP. Voice of Detroit, you already know what it is, man. Holla. That's good. Zawadi. <laughs>